deep in the Doritos. Shout out to Chris. He, uh, we're doing his titanium race exhaust. And he knows what we like. We put the whole passenger seat loaded into these. I didn't know you that You only missed here. one thing, the hot sauce, my guy. Almost had it, bro. You would have been on the elite. We should start elite climbing yeah. list. Subscribe for the elite program. Email me. Don't email this idiot. Hey, I've been getting emails all Shut fucking up. day. Really? People are like bending over trying to get jobs. Like, please, I'm 19. I'm 18. Don't email us asking for jobs. If I want to hire you, I'm going to go to you. We're going to do this Q&A. Uh, part of the video of uh, the titanium exhaust with the GT3 um, Just to kind of get this out and done because our next video We're gonna fly to Philly? Philly, yeah. You Philly? Go to Philly? The city of brotherly love and cheesesteaks right here Brotherly love? Brotherly love? Brotherly love. I mean, it's yeah, 30 people got movie. shot in their last <laughs> week <laughs> Oh man Z33 babe asked why did I DM her about the kite in her backyard? I don't know, Dave told me to DM you. Dave? Dave's like your long lost brother. He is. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Dave. Dave's a man. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna start with the one. So somebody asked me, what are my thoughts of uh, turboing Damon's gated Lambo? Whatever, it's just a car. The, the, the most difficult part about that car, I think, is because I've never gone through the chassis, is the tunneling for like the water system. Other than that, mounting turbos and intercoolers is super, super easy. Tuning is not going to be that wild easy either. So I think the most tactical thing for me when we do new, a new turbo build is going to be the plumbing. Because uh, plumbing is very important. You know, they're air to water intercoolers. So you want efficient, cold water and plumbing, where you put the water tank, how the heat exchangers are mounted is very important. So I think that's probably the most tactful thing about that. And routing the lines correctly where yeah. they won't hit something. Even though this car is converted, we will, so. Well, we cool. We have, we have more room. There's no we front diff, room. no front drive shaft. Okay. Frankie 19 asks, in my opinion, what's better, a Lamborghini or Ferrari? Uh, Lambo. Ferrari. <laughs> the craftsmanship better? You know damn well they drive better. They're freaking sissy cars. Of course they drive better. They're meant for your grandma. No, they're not. They're actual driver's cars. They turn when they won't. But... Did you ride in my 458? That thing looked like it was flexing out the... That was a fucking spider. And it's still a fucking Whatever, man. Apples and oranges. Hey, they're both good cars. How does somebody get into working on... Or getting exotics? And is it harder working on exotics? Aiden.G0D. Well, it depends on your mechanical, really, knowledge or expertise, but... Nah, it's, no it's just a... It's another It's an color. inflated Civic, it's all it is. I know. I mean... T25, T30, what else? Just don't break it. Oh, That's yeah. where it gets expensive. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's where it gets yeah. expensive. Yeah. Working on them's not bad. It's when you break a clip. Or your or your good assistant pulls it around front and runs the bumper into the curb because he's texting. Nine thousand dollar bumper, remember that one? It doesn't work anymore. <laughs> so Noel Hill two four four. How did she be race start out? Did you always start with higher tier vehicles? No. I started out of my garage. I bought my first house when I was twenty one. When the recession crashed, I bought in a neighborhood I realistically couldn't afford. But it's the only houses that were available. So, bought my first house and I lived paycheck to paycheck. And um, I realized that living like that was not gonna be cool. So I was always into cars, so I started taking on side jobs in my garage, you know, working on guys' cars, wire tucking, putting a header on, taking the engine out, taking to get, you know, painted engine bay to make some extra bucks. And that's how it all started. Started building nice cars. And um, yeah, started out of my garage. I started working on Civics. You know, this was in 2009. Eight, 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 2008 when I bought when I bought my first house and that's when I started and I quickly just kind of escalated and learned quick you know and affiliated myself with the right people to um, to learn and ask questions that I needed to ask you know a big a big uh, help to my career and learning a lot um, is a gentleman by Tony Palo from T1 Race Development I used to build nice cars and he once told me if I focus on building fast cars I get the nice cars the industry would be in trouble so I have him to think a lot for my career. Matt P.S. If I'd take a 430, a GTR, a Lambo, or a Z06. What kind of Lambo? A Gallardo. Ooh. Z06? No, I have 430. Z06 Scuderia. all Scuderia. Scuderia. Way badass car. A 430 Scuderia. Where are your hands at? I mean, you want to catch them? I swear.
swear to God, I don't know about you sometimes. Oh, this is a good one. El Monte Woodworks. Do you guys computer software or determine product design in relation to fluids and flow? <laughs> Some would say. Sure. Have you, have you seen Charlie work in his area? <laughs> He's got all the software programs money to get by. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. White IS asks if we'll take a 2J or LS. LS all day. Because if you blow that 2J up, it's just going to be expensive to replace it. You buy another LS for 500 bucks as a junkyard. You know, I'm starting to realize you and I don't have a lot of things in common. I mean, because I go for this cheap <laughs> that works well. General mechanic. That's what that is. General mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> that, that 2J head gasket pops and the head cracks, you're going to be two grand in the hole. LS, get another one 500 bucks. Slap it right back in. Uh, wavy underscore, explain your tattoos. Okay. My tattoos have meaning. My oldest son's name is Cobain, so I have a portrait of Cobain, Kurt Cobain. And this is a, a picture of a 3D guitar with a woman's head blown off and an eye. Cobain, Kennedy after my middle son. His name is Kennedy, Zeus, the Greek god, and a portrait of my mom. We're not gonna ask Johnny because we'll be here forever. He's got every tattoo in the world. When your homie tattoos and his car breaks and he doesn't want to pay to fix his car. Is that really what happened? Yeah. My first car was a 95 BMW M3. Mine was a 1994 blue four-door Geo Metro. Hell yeah, brother. And a Geo? Bro! Damn. You see, look what I drive now. <laughs> what did Kanye say? You want to be in a Geo? You want to be into Neo if you drove a Geo? You want to answer just a general question that is in every f***ing video? What is the molecule behind your ear? Every kid asks that. Really? It's sugar. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, it's diabetic. <laughs> it's dopamine. Don't ask why, but it's dopamine. He went to a rave once and he got some bad molly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that. <laughs> That's all bad. Branson676 asked me what video games did I play when I was younger. With Counter Strike 1.6. That's how I got the name Sheepy. I used to play at a land center in a small town and I used to play under my name. And the girl that I dated at the time showed sheep in the stock shows. So one weekend I went away and uh, went with her and her family to a stock show. And when I came back, I told them what I was doing. I thought it was the funniest thing. So I started playing under the Sheep Raider, then the Sheep, and then Sheep. When I turned 18, I joined Honda Tech Forums. I used that name for the forums and it kind of just stuck. One guy at a local park and he was like, oh, you're sheepy, and never went away. What's the reasoning behind Man Cobra? Well, a couple years ago, I mean, it's been like 10 years, me and my brother were in Vegas at a bar and we were kind of drunk and we just were thinking about like, you know, if you went out, like you wouldn't want a cool nickname. Like if your homie died, you know, be like, oh man, Cobra died, you know? So we said Cobra, but my last name is Mancuso. So it's kind of a clash man. between Man, Cuso, and Cobra, Man Cobra. Oh, that's Johnny's boy right there. Purple Aventador. That's the full sheepy turbo kit guy that you sent. Oh, the one that says full sheepy, the sheepy Full tur sheepy turbo kit. Full turbo. <laughs> I'm 30. 34. So somebody asked me if I miss the Honda scene in the Honda world. I miss my friends. Um, the great, you know, I, I, I was in that industry for 10 plus years and I made a lot of great friends, which I, I talk to a lot of them still, you know. Um, I'm just very busy with all the new stuff and the new things I got going on, but if you were to ask me who my closest friends were and what industry I met them in, it's the Honda industry. And to this day, anything personal like today, my son being born, those are the guys that are texting me. So one thing, uh, we get a lot of questions like right now, can you do this? Can you twin turbo this? Can you do that? The answer is no, okay? So if it's not on our website. And we're not interested in doing it. We don't want to do it. Yeah, only projects we like are like, Daddy issues, you know, I want to dance for money. Those are good projects to take on. Daddy, Those are tell us about the daddy issues. I mean, they're always the he'll easiest tell you, ones. He'll tell us in 20 days. <laughs> DM. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> asked DM. if, um, we, we, uh, Goon Squad posted an Insta on, on their gram today. What did they post? That uh, if they should twin turbo their Huracan that they rebuilt. So, how about we just do this really quick? Shout out to Goon Squad, I know you watch my video. They do? Oh yeah. How about we just ask them? Yo! What's going on? How you doing, man? Look at that country boy. Pretty good, pretty good. You got the whole squad over there, you guys know Johnny? 
What up? What up, bro? So, uh, that uh, Lambo over there seems a little slow, man. Oh, yeah. It's slow. It's slow as my sitting here not moving. I think we got to do something about that. So this is what I'm thinking though. We gotta do something cool. Like, should we go out there? Or you guys wanna come out here? What's there to do over there besides riding like wild alligators and <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it, man. Now that's the problem. We don't wanna drive out there. We'd probably prefer we have to drive out there, put it up on a trailer and No, nah, who that's no no no. You give me the address, I'll have it picked up, transported here, we good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well that's that's what I was thinking. You give me the address, I'll have it picked up, transported here, we good to go. Oh dang. How do you never done that before? Yeah, I mean half of I think 80% of our clients we transport cars in. Really? Yeah, very easy, very easy. So very secure, transported in. We book a week. You guys come out here, hang out for a week. We all install it, have a good time. Put on the dyno. Sounds like a plan. That sounds pretty sick. All right, cowboys. Yo, we appreciate the time and I uh, look forward to working with you guys. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Have a good day. Good all right, bye. Peace. There it is. You have it. The country boys are coming out to the West Coast. Yeah, buddy. All BS aside, those guys are doing some cool things over there. And, you know, we like to work with good groups of people, you know, and uh, one thing we really like about them is how mechanically inclined they are, you know, and we all, I feel like we're all very mechanically inclined, so working with another group of team that's mechanically inclined and with us, I think it'll be a good, uh, a fun week of filming and building a fast Lambo, so. It'll be a good crossover for sure. Stay tuned, we're bringing the goon squad to SoCal, baby. We normally do cool turbo stuff, but there's nothing like a GT3 and a GT2. Cool cars, very well balanced, um, all about weight. So Charlie built a lovely titanium exhaust. It has anti-drone pipes to get rid of the stupid drone from the flat six design. I hate drones. Um, and it weighs how much? Seven pounds. Versus? 61 pounds. So that's savings of, do the math. 54 pounds. 54 90%. pounds. God damn, that's a lot of damn weight. And it looks a hell of a lot better too. I mean, tell me what you'd rather have. This is the night at the bar. This is the morning after. God, that's pretty bad. Anyways, so this is a quick little day job. Get in and out, keep Chris happy. Chris, thanks for the business. And uh, yeah, if anybody needs a GT3, GT3 RS exhaust, we got you covered. a 2012 Civic every day because I have great clients that give me consent to drive their supercars every day. Why would you want to own a supercar? I'm just joking. I really do own a supercar too, but I just don't drive it.